friends, the candidates who have cleared UPSC CSC mains examination are preparing for the personality test. As a part of preparation, they are attending the mock interviews. Even at Sarath Chandra IS Academy, we are providing interview guidance as well as we are taking mock interviews of several candidates. Most of the uh, interviews are taken by senior IS officers as well as young IS officers. And generally after the mock interview is over, we will be giving them an elaborate feedback and analysis improvements that they have to make. Mostly this analysis is unique for each candidate based on how that candidate has done the interview. However friends, we observed that there are some common mistakes done by most of the candidates. Hence, we thought that through this video, we will tell you those common mistakes so that if you are doing some of those mistakes, you can rectify them. So friends, one mistake that we observed is that in the mock interview, when we asked some tough questions, some three to four continuous tough questions, the candidate initially will say, sir, I do not know the answer, sir, I don't know. But after three, four questions, the candidate starts thinking that if he or she tells don't know for more number of times, maybe their mocks will be reduced. So what they do is under pressure, they will try to answer the questions that they don't know. Friends, do not do that. Not only three, even if five to six continuous questions, if you do not know the answers, what can you do? You simply say you don't know. There's nothing you can do. Also remember, this is not a knowledge test. They are not testing your knowledge. It's personality test. As a part of your personality, if you do not know even 10 continuous questions, you, if you are a honest person, you have to say, sir, I do not know for 10 continuous times. There's nothing wrong in this. Okay. Then, for the second thing is that we observe that some candidates, uh, what they are doing is, when we ask a question for which they are very well prepared, even then they will, they will act as if they are thinking the answer. They will act as if they are thinking on the spot and they are telling answer naturally. Friends, do not do, do not put up this kind of acts. Any kind of action, any kind of dishonesty will put unnecessary pressure on you because of which you may not be able to, to perform the interview naturally. Do not do that. If we ask you a question and if you know the answer of the question very well, you tell the answer very well. It's okay even if the panel members think that okay this candidate is well prepared for this question, it's okay. Nothing wrong in that. Okay. At the same time, if you know the answer, don't jump and tell the answer. Listen to the question completely and then tell the answer in a relaxed way. But tell the answer. Don't act as if you do not know the answer. Okay. Third thing is, we observe that uh, sometimes what happens is the panel members feel that they are asking easy question but the candidate will not be able to answer the question. Then the panel member, you know, involuntarily, he puts a face that, come on, this is a very easy question. You do not know the answer for this question also. Friends, let the panel member put what, whatever kind of face he wants to put. Just because it is easy question to him does not mean you should know the answer. Understand? So don't get tensed. Friends, rule number one, just focus on what is the question and what you have to answer. If you start thinking what the panel members are thinking, are they judging me? Oh my God, I could not answer this question. If all such kind of thoughts are there in your mind, definitely you will get tensed. So don't think about all those things. Okay? You cannot do anything about what you do not know. You simply say, I don't know. One more thing is friends, what we have observed is some candidates, what they do is, for example, the interview panel member uh, tells his opinion about some issue. Then the candidate says that, uh, sir, I don't agree with you. Don't say like that bluntly. You can say that, sir, I have a different opinion. Can I explain? Or, sir, I beg to differ with you. I beg to differ with you. Means tell in a more formal way in refined language. Similarly, for example, in the entire interview, there are some 10 questions which you do not know the answer. Every time you know to say same thing. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Don't say like that. For some questions, you can say that, sir, uh, I don't remember the answer correctly. Some things like you can say that, sir, at this point of time, I could not recollect the answer. Sometimes you can say that, uh, sir, I'm afraid I do not know the answer. You understand? So based on the question, you can tell it uh, actually what you feel about that. Instead of saying the same word, I don't know, sir. Then friends, some students, some candidates, what they're doing is they're bluffing, particularly when it comes to their subject matter. For example, if he's a civil engineer and if the panel member is asking them some civil engineer details, the candidate is thinking that 
okay the panel members may not know the civil engineering stuff so they are actually bluffing by using some technical jargon similarly some pharmacy candidates also recently whom we interviewed they are actually bluffing the answers using technical terms what they are thinking is that the panel members cannot identify them but friends the, these are senior bureaucrats who are interviewing you in the upsc they have seen almost several sectors they have seen several kind of people they can very easily identify whether you are bluffing or not so never ever bluff even if you observe the interview given by uh, dp agarwal dr dp agarwal who was a ups who was the chairman of upsc ex chairman of upsc he said that they used to give mocks mostly based on honesty one of the the first and foremost quality they see in the candidate is honesty so friends try to be as honest as possible okay there is the only way you can get a good score another another thing which we observed in the mock interview is that guessing some students just they keep on guessing every question for example friends what they say is that sir it could be because of that it may be because of that i mean they do not know the exact answer but they just do not want to say i don't know they feel uh, that uh, telling don't know means something bad so what they will say is they start guessing the answer so friends never do that if you do not know the exact answer you take permission sir i don't know i do not know the exact answer can i make a guess you can tell like that friends this is not prelims exam in upsc prelims you can guess the questions because some of them may be right some of them may be wrong but in the interview if you are guessing the questions thinking that some of them may be correct the panel member actually gets irritated okay because their time is highly valuable you should respect that time if you know the answer tell it but don't guess uh, the questions without their permission okay in this aspect i want to i want to tell what mr saikant verma 2014 batch ias officer what he said he has got 208 marks in the personality test he actually always says that a smart candidate is who who is very clear about what he knows and what he does not know for example when the question is asked he should know whether i know this question don't know if you know the question tell instantly exact answer if you do not know the question tell you do not know that's all you should be you should have the clarity whether you know or don't know the clarity is important you cannot start guessing every question okay friends another mistake is most of the candidates do not listen to the entire question sometimes what happens is friends in the upsc panel some of the members have a habit of asking the question for long time they will ask the question for almost 10 to 15 seconds they will tell the question so you should have the patience to listen to the complete question understand the complete question and then answer it friends good communication does not mean just good speaking it also means good listening so you should have good listening skills what happens is most of the candidates what we observed is when the panel member is asking the question they listen to half of the question then they start thinking about the answer and as soon as, as soon as the panel member ends the question immediately they'll jump on to the answer do not do that okay listen to the question completely take some time think of the best answer then give the answer okay friends keep it like a conversation when you are converse, conversing with your friends generally what you do listen to them completely and talk right do that do that okay then friends uh, this is uh, one more thing i would say taking too many breaks i won't say this is a mistake i would say this is a weakness what we observed is most of the candidates have this weakness when we ask a question they will think about the answer but while telling the answer they won't have a smooth flow it will be like sir i think uh, it may be um, that also uh, and um, you understand so they take too many breaks i think it comes because some of you stop talking i mean stop conversing with your friends or discussing with your friends for a long time you are sitting in the room and reading friends as long as you do not talk with your friends your smooth flow of communication will not come so my advice or suggestion is that next a month or two at least every day an hour or two sit with your friends discuss on some topics okay do conversation do long conversations don't just sit in the home read the books and attend mock interviews mock interviews will not help you in developing smooth communication it is only conversation with friends or somebody with a peer group that helps you in smooth communication friends another mistake is that when a question is asked you be specific for example if we ask you uh, what are the benefits of mulching for example a candidate's uh, uh, hobby is gardening gardening if she mentions that in da form we may ask what are the benefits of mulching let us say you do not know the benefits but you want to prove that you know something so what will you do you will start telling what is mulching sir what is mulching we do mulching in this way so you want to prove yourself 
friends do not do that this is not upsc mains in upsc mains if they ask you what are the benefits of mulching you can write a small introduction what is mulching and then benefits of mulching and then conclusion here you do not beat around the bush in the personal details you directly tell the benefits if you do not know the benefits you tell the panel member sir i do not know the exact benefits of mulching but i know what mulching is can i tell about this understand you take the permission don't think don't take the panel members for granted don't waste their time in in a process of proving yourself do not do that okay keep it as a natural conversation friends one last one last mistake which we observed in most of the candidates is that they will think that uh, they should not take much time to answer a question friends there will be some easy questions which you know very well for which you can answer immediately there will be some questions for which you may have to think for some time there will be some questions for which you have to think for even more time for example case study based questions ethical dilemma questions you cannot answer the question instantly you have to think right so sometimes when you have to think for more time don't feel bad about it it is okay if you take long pauses okay you can ask permission of the panel member that sir uh, can i uh, take some time and think about it you can ask like that you can even use the pen and paper that is uh, provided to you during the personality test friends sometimes when you take good amount of pause what happens is you will even understand why the panel member asked you that question once you understand why they asked you that question you can give an optimal answer otherwise your answers will be suboptimal okay in that way also is helpful do not think that uh, taking pause will reduce your marks or telling don't know will reduce your marks nothing will reduce your marks just you be natural don't keep any kind of preconceptions that i have to be in this way sit in this way i should be in this way if you keep all this baggage and go to the personality test you cannot perform freely okay you be formal at the same time be natural then you can actually bring out a personality and your if you are as if you are as honest as possible you will definitely get very good marks friends all the best prepare well thank you